he listens to somebody good, he goes like this. He like makes his face. What do you think he sees in his head when he makes that face? So today we will learn some crazy stuff about Steven Tyler. Real interesting stuff unlike what the website Society of Rock taught me. 13 things you didn't know about Steven Tyler. The singer hates leeches but loves koala bears? <laughs> no one in the world could hate koala bears so they probably just made this one up, right? <laughs> he can hold his breath 2 minutes underwater. Wait, that's actually really impressive. No wonder he can sing like this. But now this girl is <laughs> Incredible, right? I mean, it's so difficult. Everyone fails singing like him. And no, the secret to his voice isn't swimming with dolphins or meditating with the Dalai Lama. Although maybe that helps, I don't know. It's something about air. And the first guest ever on this channel, Crazy Singing, will explain that to you. And here's him saying hi. You do well. Yeah, he sounds like Steven Tyler, I know. But let's get right into Steven Tyler's five craziest vocal lines ever. Like this one from Uncle Salty with an insane octave jump from an A4 to an A5, ridiculously high already, and that classic Steven Tyler sound there at the top. Now let's give it up for Sammy here, who is going to explain how this classic Steven Tyler sound is produced. While I was on a YouTube bench last night watching Dream On cover videos, one part that got my attention was the last part of the song. When the high scream is coming, most of the people are not getting the right sound. Most of the people are using their voice, while Steven Tyler does not. And I'm actually going to use myself here as an example of using your real voice up there and how this doesn't sound too great for covering Aerosmith. Here's me hitting the high note in Dream On but with my regular falsetto and it does not do it justice. Uh, it's just like a very high-pitched Mickey Mouse situation, not very rock and roll. Eh? <laughs> I know, it's like I'm hitting the pitch, but also it's like Mickey Mouse is suffering, so it's not very good. So this is what Sammy means by using your real voice. I'm using my voice, my real voice up there. It doesn't sound too good. It's not what Steven Tyler does. Here's how you really do it. And here I'm using my voice. The toss of the dice. And now I'm gonna use a Steven's technique. The toss of the dice. And one of the best examples of Steven Tyler really pushing the limits of this technique comes in spawn number 4 of this list in the song Crazy. A whistle note that's very famous for being confused with an electric guitar because that's just how high it is. So could anything get crazier than that 6 octave scream? Well, we're talking about Steven Tyler, so just listen to this insanity of a vocal line live in Tokyo 2002. He sounds so powerful in this concert that the next spot was also sung in the same gig. I listened to this one over a year ago and it still haunts me because how can a man be this talented? I think he might be an alien, honestly. Um, especially after listening to spot number one, you might think the same. But to honor the channel's name, Crazy Singing, which you should be subscribing to uh, right now. Um, okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I will add 
an additional spot, spot number zero, which has Steven Tyler literally singing or sounding like a cat. So uh, nothing can get crazier than that. And <laughs> with this, I say goodbye. This effect is created by air pushing through the pipes, creating a whistling sound. Pure voice might be, ah! and whistling sound with air pushing through it 